Facebook just can't catch a break. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of In The Know. My name is Ron Wiles, and I am your stand-up guy. On this segment, I'll be providing the latest in tech news so you can always be in the know. A former Facebook member from his integrity team blows the whistle and says, Facebook puts profit before efforts to fight hate speech and misinformation on its platform. I'm surprised. If you haven't been keeping up, this is the second whistleblower to come forward. And if I know big tech, there will be more to come. But you gotta give it up to Facebook. Like their fearless leader, Mark Zuckerberg, they aren't wavering when it comes to defending themselves against all of these allegations. In fact, Facebook deserves a shout out for one of the biggest low-key boss moves of the year as they are quietly changing their name in the midst of all of this controversy. Let's see them try to Google bad press on our new name, Bookface. It reminds me of one of these New York clubs that gets shut down by the police but reopens under new management. The company spokesman told The Post it sets a dangerous precedent to hang an entire story on a single source making a wide range of claims without any apparent cooperation. What are your thoughts on this story? Do you believe that Facebook truly puts profit before people? The employees seem to have copies of old emails as proof, but is that enough to make their case? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like and share. And if you're on YouTube, do me a solid and subscribe. Once again, my name is Ron Wallace and I am your stand-up guy. I'm something different. So my new name is Love, a.k.a. Brother Love. <laughs>